This is a quick fix tutorial where I'm focusing only on difficult sections in the piece, applying only those principles that don't require sound imagination skills and will quickly ease your playing, making technique more comfortable and fluent. These basic principles are wrist movement, elbow movement, intonation, arm weight, articulations, phrasing and time. If you've been playing this piece for quite a while, keep in mind that all these principles won't work at full potential, as all sensations might interfere with new ones. Yet they will ease your playing as much as possible in your current situation. This is just a basic fix to let you feel more comfortable while playing, and since we're not imagining sounds, we're not making any harmonies, dynamics or voice and nuances in this tutorial. And feel free to leave your request in the comments section below. So now let's get started. Match the wrist movement with the known direction. Move gently without any tension. At the last stage of practicing, this movement will be remained in muscle sensations only and won't be visible to the eyes. This will keep your wrist tension free. And a missing fingering in the score before starting playing. While the wrist movement is matching the known direction, the elbow is moving towards the new position on a circle note. This will release tension in hands and improve speed and accuracy in leaps. And lastly, our ocean it took me quite a while to find a good angle. <laughs> So you could see every single movement clearly. Uh, so let's go on with wrist and elbow movement only. Please do not keep any tension after pressing the key. And don't force the sound, play basically piano, everything, gently touching the key. So let's get started. Eated of this opus because I'm going by the melody line and it goes descending down. I prefer to move my wrist to the left on the melody top um, note. that when you are on this position change note on the second finger basically uh, don't be afraid to just a little bit slow down to make sure that you move your wrist and you move your elbow in your comfortable pace so there's no any tension while doing this even on this stage
sing in between notes with a glissando and resistance. Keep the same sensation while singing out loud only notes. While playing, keep singing the same way internally. It is possible to sing the same way while playing fast passages. Internally sing with the energy of weight. This is how it sounds without weight versus with weight. Such singing will sustain transferring of weight while playing, bringing more freedom and power to your voice and hands. Now let's play with intonation and weight only. And you would naturally play with more full sound because the free energy of the body makes your sound naturally more full. Articulations are the variant of intonation, where the principle of singing internally in between notes with a glissando resistance remains the same. In every type of articulations, the first part of the interval is sung with resistance, but the second part is varied. In staccato, extremely accelerate the speed. In tenuta, move fully down with weight. In accents, mix staccato and tenuta, bring speed and weight at the same time. About accents, again, the same old story. Not every accent is an accent in Chopin. Well, I prefer to use the very first one in the bar, uh, kind of skipping the top one, because somehow the top one just comes up by itself when you put it in fast tempos with good phrasing. Now, it's some addition, in some additions, can find these notes is tenuto. Um, so in my previous, basically you know that I used to play this etude and I am playing it, um, I don't make these tenutos, but if you want, you can try right now. So these accents we would intonate when you come back. This way. So let's let's go. Mm -hmm. 
Phrasing is a structured intonation, breathing, where smaller blocks with more prominent sections are united into larger blocks with more prominent sections. Use intonation and weight in phrasing to make energetic crescendo towards more prominent sections and blocks. While practicing phrasing, take a little break, a breath after every block, and slow down towards the main interval in a motif, the main motif in a phrase, and the main phrase in a sentence. Now we're going to make the phrasing. Again, phrasing will be a fidel technique because that will help our hands stay relaxed while playing. Because every time we start a new block, motive phrase or sentence, we start with zero energy and this is how we release tension in our hand. So basically when we play, we always make this breathe in, breathe out with our muscles in our hand, these waves, and that will sustain freedom in our hands. So I'm going to use musical speech to intonate this unison better and that will affect my finger and uh, that will make it prepare to the note much faster and hence to feel more stable while playing. So ability to feel a difference in singing different intervals will let us pre-feel through intonation the distance of every interval much more accurately. That helps mind and hands to faster prepare to the intervals. As I have said before many times, if we can't feel fast while playing, we're not ready to play fast. Feel the difference in sound while singing with intonation these intervals. So let me just practice a little bit. Okay, let's see. Actually, I think also the words of third finger will be a problem. So let's go to the phrase. Mm-hmm. Okay. 
but I think you got the idea. Now let's go to um, time. Time and tempo mean more than just the speed of music, it's a part of the character of music. After choosing the pulsation, connect time to the musical image of the piece, and if the image of music is joyful, feel and describe the pulse not as just slow, but calm and peaceful, not just faster, but lively and exciting, not just fast, but energetic and bright. Feel time while playing always following a phrasing line to sustain the flow of playing. Pulsate by half of the bar, I think. Heavy and huge, that's how we go. Excited, like more powerful. Okay. Alright, so my skills of noticing and remembering the turns where I messed up improves. So I think I remember where I messed up. Oh, maybe not. Oh god, I forgot. So either it was here, but that was towards my middle finger. So I'm gonna just... God, I really don't remember. Maybe it was here. Anyway, so let's feel this interval. Interval that goes to the second finger, better with musical speech, so ascending Oh god, uh, augmented force, basically triton. So we're gonna use unison here and triton. Okay, let's go faster. sometimes to move my elbow faster and better but basically that's how you fix your uncomfortable turns intervals or weak unstable fingers you intonate towards this interval finger you intonate this interval towards this finger with musical speech or you move uh, elbow bigger and faster with big amplitude and faster so let's go to the left hand now
rhythmic intonation, weight and articulations right away. Let's go slow. 